it's been a really stressful time and hard to transition into online learning. Um, there's a lot to keep up with and with everything going on, I was I ended up being like a week behind on schoolwork. Um, but I got caught up in a couple classes yesterday, so that's good. Um, but that's that's been really hard is just the stress and mentally trying to get myself to a place where I can actually focus on school has been hard. Last week was hard because I don't know, I just wanted to stay on campus for as long as possible just because I have a routine there. Um, I mean, obviously I have friends there as well. So I just wanted to stay as long as possible and be able to like hang out with them and spend time with them. Being home, it's definitely nice, like having family support and being here. It doesn't really add to my stress load at all, but just making sure that like I get my work done, but not being at school on site. Um, that adds a little bit of stress, but so far the journey is not going terribly. Well, I have a lot of different roles on campus that I quickly found out when people were leaving um, that they were still gonna be, like I could still have those roles. Like um, I'm a ministry assistant, I am a student ambassador, um, and then we do chapel. Um, so like those roles, we were still gonna be doing Bible studies, we were still gonna have chapel, and they were still giving personal campus tours. And so um, when we first figured out that we had we had the option to leave, my initial reaction was, well, no, I still get to do all of these different things on campus for the people who are still here. Um, and even doing things like through like Zoom for chapel or um, I mean, doing things outside. Um, I just saw a lot of opportunity to kind of make the best of a not so great situation. And so initially my plan was to stay. Um, obviously, like they ended up sending something out that um, that we had to go home. And um, that was like, I kind of expected that to happen too. I think like when we first were told that we had the option to, I saw a lot of my friends at other universities being told that they had to stay home for a period of time. And I kind of felt like I needed to be in a place where if they did make the decision to send us home that I would be okay with that and so that actually something that that was actually something that took a lot of prayer and like I just said God I want to be at peace with whatever situation the university decides whether they allow us to stay whether they make us go home for a short period of time or if they make us stay for the rest of the semester um so I did that and when we did get the email that we were required to go home um I it was kind of like, like I just like immediately, I just kind of called my mom and said, hey, so they told us to go home. And then I had um, a string of people come down to my room because I was in my room at the time and knock on my door and say, did you get the email? And so I spent the next like hour or so with, with different people. And I think like, for me, I thought like, I kind of did benefit a lot from praying about it and wanting to be at peace with it because like the people I was around definitely didn't take it well. I mean, some of them still haven't really taken it well. And so I think like it was good that I was able to kind of process it before. But I mean, it was still like kind of shocking because um, I think like the first thing I thought about was, um, well, I have friends that are seniors. And if we do end up going home for the rest of the semester, like did I like have my last meeting or class or like hangout time with these people and I didn't even know it? Um, so that's really what hit me the most because I hadn't really thought about that um, in terms of coming home. Like, I mean, I love my family and everything and, but I, and I knew that I missed my friends um, even if like I had to talk to them through Zoom, which would be okay. Um, but I think like not being able to see my senior friends again, that, oof, I didn't like that. You know, at first, um, at first when the whole thing started happening, you know, my biggest concern was, in all honesty, was baseball. Like, what are we gonna do about baseball? You know, we've only played 10 out of 40 games. Um, what's gonna happen to our season? Are we gonna get it in? It's my last year. Like, you know, what's gonna happen? And I was worried. Um, and then, you know, as stuff started to get more serious, um, you know, I, I've just, I started to accept the fact that things were not gonna be good. Uh, I, I just I started to accept reality a little bit 
and honestly the fact that my senior year um, just got like canceled baseball and I value academics I really do but you know baseball and football that's all I've ever known so when baseball was taken away from me like this um, it's hard to it's hard to put that into um, words the way that feels um, another thing I would say about that was at first I never in a million years thought I would experience something like this so at first like I don't think it was hitting me and it really didn't hit me hard until like last week when uh, you know I had to say bye to my roommates um, Monday we were in the middle of practice when we got President Wood's email that said they were closing campus and we had to be out of there by Wednesday at 5 p.m. and so then on Monday we um, we have this tradition that we do with the baseball program and all the seniors give like their, you know, final speech or whatever they get in front of the team. And, you know, they, they just, you know, speak whatever's on their heart. And when we did that and practice got canceled right in the middle of it because we had to leave, um, that's when it really hit me. Um, that's when it really hit all of us seniors. So I guess, sorry to get off track there, but I guess my feelings uh, towards the whole situation are, at first, it was definitely kind of bitter. Um, it was like, what, you know, what is going on? Like, is this really happening? I never would have guessed this in a million years. Like, I can't believe this. And then, you know, as things went on, um, Ohio started to, you know, get some cases. Uh, reality started to set in. and It was, uh, I don't want to say calming is the absolutely wrong word, but it was like, reality is really setting in now that this is way bigger than baseball. This is way bigger than, you know, being at school with my friends, like people are losing their lives. Like, we need to take this serious. Um, and so, you know, like I said, reality just started to set in and, you know, I, I was able, I was able to, you know, get a little comfort in knowing that, you know, we're doing this because we have to do this. This is a, you know, this is not what, President Wood wanted to do. This isn't what Governor DeWine wanted to do, but it's what they have to do. So I, I guess I've just kind of accepted it and moved on and have tried to, you know, just do what I can do, control what I can control. But, you know, that's that's all I can do. So sorry, that was a little long, but I guess at this point, the way I'm feeling about it is <sighs> it, it hurts to talk about it, but it's it is what it is, and I can't control it, and that really stinks, but you just got to do what you got to do. I got, I don't know how many more assignments I got to do, but once I get these done, I'll be graduated, so then it'll all be worth it. Um, I actually did completely move out. I just loaded everything into my car. I didn't really have any bins because they were all at home, and I didn't you know, have any time to like plan for leaving. So I just kind of loaded everything in the crevices of my car and did as much as possible that I could. So yeah, I cleared out everything from my room and came home. I think I just kind of freaked out because <laughs> um, I needed to like pack and, and leave and get out of there, but I also had schoolwork I needed to do and so mainly I was just stressed out and panicking and trying to like pack everything up and get out of there. So yeah, that was my initial reaction. Decided that I was going to put as much in my car as I possibly could. Um, my mom did offer to bring up our van so I could completely move out, but I decided not to do that. Um, the reason for that was really because um, I, my roommate left when they gave us the option to. And so um, I decided that if I did leave some stuff there, then when we did eventually have to go back and like fully move out, then I would be able to see her. So that was most of my motivation for keeping some stuff there. I'm feeling a lot of different emotions. Um, mainly just sad, I guess, because um, obviously it's my last semester of college and a lot of things I, I would say have been taken away. And, um, we were talking with the ministry team the other day and they were asking us what's one word that we could use to describe the situation and, and my word was grief because um not experience in a classroom and with people taken away but my track season was taken away as well so 
it's just frustrating and sad. And I feel like I'm grieving all of this and it just feels weird. <laughs> At Bluffton, one thing that I love is that in classes, you stay connected with people that you normally wouldn't. You know, like with Marbeck, you're sectioned off to certain groups and that kind of stuff. And with classes, it's almost like it brings everybody together and you make new connections with people that you normally wouldn't and you go out of your comfort zone almost. So I just hope that even though we're doing online, we're still able to like connect and I don't know, keep a connection through each other without actually being there and visible on campus. Just being around people, like physically, um, and seeing my friends and spending time with them and being on the track team and spending time with the ministry team. Like, yeah, we can talk to each other on video and stuff like that, but it's not the same. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna miss being around people. The only thing I would say and that has really stood out to me throughout this whole process is President Wood. Um, I'm a big fan of hers. I think she's handled this situation um, the best that she could. But just, I just think that she's handled this uh, and I think she's kept calm and just been her and I appreciate her caring about the baseball program and, you know, not just canceling on us and giving us a shot, even though it wasn't looking good. I just appreciate her uh, not giving up on us and giving us a shot to at least try and make something of the season. Like, um, she, she told us that she wanted us to keep practicing after you know, we basically ended our season and had our last practice, not knowing that that was our last practice. And she was like, no, you guys should keep practicing because you never know we could play again. And if she wouldn't have done that, then we would have never had our last practice and we would have never had our, um, our little senior speech thing where we get up in front of the whole team and, you know, just share like some memories and stuff. So I'm thankful for her.